Hello everyone, Lori Marie here, uh, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. I've been away from my camera and video playing for a couple of weeks now. I spent a weekend in Oregon with my sister-in-law and then I just spent a few days in Arizona with my sister visiting my dad and doing various errands there in Arizona. So I'm back at it. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to work on the composition of the collage. Uh, it doesn't come naturally. You need to kind of play with it, and the more you play with it, the more comfortable you, co more comfortable you will be with it. So, what I suggest is going through magazines and just tearing out pages of the magazines, leaving them in a stack, and then going back through them uh, and cutting out whatever you are attracted to, making a pile of those. I usually have about mm, 12 to 15 pieces that uh, I've cut out have them on my desk and just kind of play with them and see how I can get a fun collage out of them. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to use a, a page out of the um, out of one of my books. I've already collaged this side as you can see and we're going to do this side. Now this background, if you go back to the Celerity Collage 2, the second part of the uh, Celerity Collage, Celerity Collage? I think that's what maybe just celerity, celerity part two. Then you'll um, follow the directions on how to make this page right here. I'm not going to do that today. You can go back to that video and and discover that and play with that. Okay. So uh, now we're, I'm going to set that aside and we're going to play with the collage and then we'll put the collage in the book. So see you on the table. Okay. Welcome back. So this is the book that we're going to be putting the collage into on this page, the Celerity uh, background, Celerity Part 2. So revisit that video so that you can make that page. If you're interested, it's watercolor and stuff. It's quite fun. All right, on my travels to Arizona, I went to a used bookstore, and I picked up a couple of juxtapose art books, which are very, very fun. Keep in mind when you're using someone else's artwork, you do need to alter it if you plan to sell your work, which of course I plan to sell my work. So anytime you use a piece of artwork from a magazine, uh, you need to alter it significantly so that it's uh, not infringing on somebody's copyrights. So here's a stack of the fun pages that I cut out. First I ripped the page out and then I revisited them and cut out the fun things that uh, I wanted to play with. So I have a few things in here that I want to play with. So I'm just going to pull a few things off here, get an idea, and then we'll monkey around with that, see what we come up with. I love flowers. So I'm going to use a flower for her dress. And I love this little face. So I'm going to use that. This will be her dress. And then I cut out some legs. So we'll put the legs under here so that they look like they are inside her dress. And of course, just to add another little character, she's going to have three legs there. Very fun. And then I have an arm here. I'm going to, it's a very harsh edge on the arm. So maybe I'll put it there so that it goes along with the harsh edge on the dress. That's probably a good idea. And <clears throat> this little girl, she's ripped. I'm going to leave her ripped. I don't want a, a sharp edge on her. And so this will be like a baby doll that she's holding. And then I found these are actually legs. Can you see? They're fun legs. But I'm going to put them on her head like horns or antlers maybe. That's very fun. And then, I don't know, I think these are like wind socks. They look like wind socks? Kind of. And I'm going to put those on her head some way. Alright, so that's what I'm going to use for my collage. So now I'm going to go back to my book and I'm going to glue these things in. Um, you probably don't need to watch me do that now that you've seen me put this together. But uh, I'll glue them in and then we'll come back and take a peek, okay? Alright, see you in a few minutes. 
All right, welcome back. I got some of it put together as you can see. As I got it on this page, there wasn't enough room for me to put her horns on here. So I've cut them a little bit differently and I'm gonna put them on the doll's head. So that'll be fun. So I just thought I would bring you back for that. I am using Mod Podge, one of my favorites. It's not Mod Podge, it is Mod Podge. It's just so you can sound like you know what you're talking about. So which way should we put these? Don't want to get into her face too much. Okay, that's right in her eye. All right, so we'll do it this way. Alright, and I just put a little bit of Mod Podge on my brush, set this on the side, and put the Mod Podge on the, the piece of the collage that I'm working on, and set it down. One thing that helps get rid of the wrinkles is to just use a gift card or a credit card, kind of put it on there. go over this with Stabilo and some doodling since this is kind of a doodling book. Let's see here. Always tricky. Where's this going to go? Hmm. Maybe down a little bit. These were the things that looked like wind socks. And then I just cut them to fit her face. Then I got these few words here. It was all a dream. And I'm going to put those on there. Then we'll go in with Stabilo and Doodling. And I will bring you back to see the final product. So do we need to review anything? Mm -hmm. If you're making your collage, and you're cutting out pictures from magazines, you need to alter them in some way to avoid copyright problems. So just tear out some pages. This is I just tear out a bunch of pages. Then I go back through and I cut out things that I find interesting. And then I just play with them on my play space to see what kind of a collage I can come up with. All right, put it all together. I'll show you after I stabilo and doodle, okay? All right, see you in a little while. All right, welcome back. Um, I kind of want to show you my process of picking out things for a collage. And as you can see, I've gone through a magazine and just cut out some things that I'm attracted to. I mean, there's a gorgeous head for something. And then, of course, I always have a flower to put in someone's hair, which is fun. I found these fun wings. There's two of them. There's another one someplace. This is a good background piece. These are some legs, which would be awesome, like on the top of a head. Let me see if I can find her again. So if you had a head like this, let me get a white background, and then put these legs on the top of her head like that to give her some horns, this would be a very fun beginning for a collage. I thought this was kind of fun. A little boy. There's a car. Doesn't exactly go together, but the car is going to be really fun for something. Here's a camera. That'll be fun across somebody's eyes. Um, just some background pieces here. A bird. A shell. I have no idea what I'll do with that. A bull. A bird. Music paper is always a great background. Here's a boot. That'll be fun someplace. So these are just the things that I'm attracted to. I'm always attracted to this kind of a flower. It's always fun someplace. I'm going to set that aside. I might have a place for that. This is fun in place of somebody's 
face, a funnel, another flower. Love my flowers. There's some some boots for on the bottom of, bottom of something. Who knows? Another set of boots. So anyway, I just go through the magazines and cut out things that I think are interesting. I've got a few folders full of those. I'll show you what we did in, in the first part of this video. I went back and doodled in it. I've been working on that book, so I've got a wet page that I'm playing with. This page is yet to happen. This is a piece of uh, my digital work that I've cut up. It had some printing flaws in it. So I just cut that up and made a couple pages out of that with the, the black duct tape, which I have fallen in love with. So here's the page we were working on yesterday, the little girl holding the doll. I went in and I stabilized the edges and then I just doodled with a little bit of black. There was a lot going on in the background with the stamping that I did, so I didn't have to doodle too much. And it says, it was all a dream. So that was the page we worked on yesterday. And, <clears throat> pardon me, I want to show you the collage that I'm working on now. This is for class. Take these pieces off, we'll go through them one at a time. This uh, is the bubble background that I did in the altered book number seven. The only difference here is um, when I put the rings down on top of the black gesso, I took sandpaper to it. And then I went in with the gelato sticks and then the little edge to make it look like a bubble. So that's the piece that I'm going to be working on the collage. And I went through my pieces and this is a, a tree, which I thought was kind of cool. What did I do with that other rose piece? Oh, here it is. That might work better. And then uh, I found this fun face. So I was going to put her here. And then the tree becomes her hair, which is kind of fun. I picked these roses for the bottom piece. But since I ran across these in our little discovery, that might be better spatially. There's a, 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 a raindrop here, and I'll cut that off and put it on top of the roses so that you can still see that. And then I've got this fun bird. It says Heartbreaker, so I might do something like that. But that's, uh, that's my process, you know, just go through the pictures and see what's attractive, make it kind of interesting. So that's the beginning of this collage, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put this together, and then uh, we'll come back. I took a, a, my substrate as a piece of wood, and I just put some old book pages on it, and I really liked the color, so when I went in with the gesso, I didn't take it all the way to the edge. I left some of the book pages exposed. So, uh, so yeah, we'll see how this comes together and then I'll be back to share that with you. All right, go play. All right, gang, one more segment here. It's the end of the day, so I'm hoping that there's enough light here that you can see what's going on. Uh, this is the piece that uh, I kind of pieced together for you, the collage that uh, with the tree and the face and the roses and the raindrop uh, on the bubble background. So this is how she turned out. And then I went out in my outdoor studio and I put a coat of beeswax on her. And I hit it with the blowtorch so that there's just a little bit of wax on her. So it gives it a nice, nice, nice finish. The, uh, it kind of bubbled down here by the roses from the heat of the blowtorch, which is very fun. So, yeah, so there it is, your bubble background, which we uh, touched in another video, and just some composition of some more collage pieces. So, I want you to go have fun. Go create something. Doesn't matter what it is, have fun creating it.